Shalom Israel. All praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. All honor and respect to all the elders of Israel. And to you, my brothers and sisters, Yah by Shem Yahushai Barakatam. All right, we in this time coming down to the end, the end of the end. So I'm just going to jump right into it. A lot going on in the world. Got to stay diligent. Got to stay focused because these are the times that was prophesied in our records, in our constitution, in our book of the law, in our book of the prophets. All right. So without further ado, this lesson is going to be hidden things in plain sight. Hidden things in plain sight, part one. I'm going to jump in. it. Okay. So all these pictures and videos I'm going to show are for fair use and just for edification purposes. And it's not going to be for any profit or any particular gain. All right. So I'm going to jump into this dude right here, Grandmaster J, right? And if you look, this dude's a clown. You look at the left, there's like Cobra Commander mask they got on. And, and the reason why I'm showing a cartoon in the 80s is because it was playing out right now. If you know anything about G.I. Joe, you know Cobra Commander, he wanted to take over the world, crash the economy, and make it into one world society. So it's not... A coincidence that you got people who pushing an agenda or wearing a black mask that no one can see you, just like all Cobra Commanders uh, misfits or soldiers, I should say. So we got to stay diligent. We got to stay focused and know that you can't go out there and do nothing too crazy because the Lord is in the mix and he's in charge of everything. All right. So just so you know, Exodus 15 and 3 says the Lord, Yahweh is a man of war. The Lord, Yahweh, by Shimeon Shah, is his name. Not no revolutionary nigga named Jan Master J. Not no black, crispy-ass Muslim who talking about get your guns or none of them other free-fall Negroes out there. The Lord, the Lord is a man of war. Ain't nobody got smoke for the Lord. Let him deal what's going on in this earth. Because I'm going to hit y'all some of Esau. Esau always goes back to my records and fool us. He did the same thing um, when he was going against Jonathan Maccabees. Jonathan Maccabees, Esau had a little civil war. He went between that, took the side of one Edomite, um, destroyed um, Demetrius, and then Esau turned around and, and, and smoked him. Just leave your men here and come in. Did the same thing some thousand hours, years later um, to uh, Toussaint uh, Vitor, Louis Vitor, I believe his name. I probably butchered it. The Haitian revolutionary. Same thing. Spaniards in Spain, Spaniards, Slaki, and French beefing one another, civil war. They side. Then French says, just, just let us talk, you know, you know, make make Tucson hop on a boat, get to France, bury that man in the deepest, darkest hole up. Where history repeats itself. So Esau is doing the same thing now. He's sending provocateurs, he's sending all these different agents because he knows the time is coming to end. Alright? Uh switching gears, I'm jumping to this movie um Independence Day, one of my favorite movies. But I want y'all to see something. All right. So this clip is exactly at 14 minutes, 0.4 seconds. Right. And if you look on the right, left hand side, I should say, you're going to see a tribal face. Now, this tribal face goes back to Yoruba tribe. So the Yoruba was the tribes of Hebrews mixed in into um, that tribe in Nigeria. And these were basically um, people that call themselves Emo, you, uh, Kate, Un, I'm butchering that, or strange people, um, call themselves Hebrews, Benny Ephraim, or Sons of Ephraim, to show you that all the 12 tribes were still over, some of the 12 tribes, uh, northern tribe, I should say, was left in Africa as well. Uh, so that's just to let you know that Esau knows exactly what he's doing. Because this movie is like two hours long. And this clip right here is exactly when the other Edomite figured out the code of, of how much time was left for the aliens to invade. So at 14 minutes, 0.4 seconds, they show that clip. Pay attention. Hidden things in plain sight. I'm hit y'all with another one. Um, this chariot is part of it too. At 144.44 <laughs> seconds the chariot shows up in the clip first time in the movie uh this clip too is when um uh will smith and his wife with the little son comes in 
and it goes to the screen at exactly 144.4 seconds. This is exactly the same time where one of the Edomites figured out how to beat the aliens by injecting it with a virus, with a virus, with a virus. I'll leave it like that. If you got ears and wisdom, you'll pick up on that. So that's just what they put in the movies back in 1996. And I always wondered why Ross Perot and you know Bob Dole and all of them was going to watch this movie. I'm like, what's the big hype about this movie? You know what I'm saying? I never seen a presidential candidates go watch a movie. And, How was it, sir? Oh, it was pretty good, pretty good. And I'm like, now I understand. Now I'm in the truth. Now I got why they went to see this. This movie is filled with subliminals. I can't even go through all of them. I'm just showing y'all little clips in it. Switching gears because enough fiction must get to some actual facts and what's going on in the world. So I'm going to hit y'all this video, hit y'all with some precepts, and then we're going to disseminate. Thousands upon thousands of UFO ships have arrived, and they did. They started arriving until they were thousands upon thousands. They came into our airspace. Uh, that's what I would like to say. And some of those ships right now, um, they are cloaked in the sky. We can't see every one of them. We cannot. But, hello. Hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello, uh, from my heart to yours. Hello. Um, thank you for tuning in with me right now. I really do appreciate it because I really do want to get this news out. I'm not just showing little, little bitty ships that are just sporadically everywhere. I'm showing parts of thousands upon thousands of ships that arrived around a year ago. Um, and it really was, it was, it was mind boggling seeing they kept, they kept increasing in number day after day after day. Now, this Edomite name is Gina something, um, but I don't really follow. I just happened to see it on my news feed and it was like spirit of the Lord instantaneously triggered me to go watch that. And I was like, wow, this thing got so much meat in it. So here's this lady who was able to capture these UFOs or what we know as a chariots of the Lord on her phone and she's using different software to show it now what I'm bringing it out is all this going on you know kill us us being killed in the streets all this race war that they want to bring forth the Lord got his chariots cloaked in the heavens looking at everything so you ain't supposed to be fearful of nothing right now if you keep in the law statute commandments the Lord got this I'm going to break down on the scripture because she's not even spiritual in the sense of in the truth or biblical. She's just spiritual like in the new age, you know, religion. But I'm going to hit y'all a precept on what she was saying. Revelation chapter 9 verse 16 and it reads, And the number of the army of the horsemen were 2,000, 200,000, thousand, and I heard a number of them. Right? So, that's what it is. You think the Lord is not going to have this place surrounded before he gets here? He's setting up his little garrisons and his little trigger points before he makes a grand entry. And the angels in the chariots are cloaked. Hit y'all the next clip. Or where those U UFOs arrived? Well, they came from their own dimensions. So that's what I feel. Damn right. Let's look at this right here. Third heavens. Boom. Okay, now we are in focus here, right here. Look at this. This is the original images, and I did. I took these pictures, and I inverted them. I did not really have too much capability of doing the um, inverting, but I inverted them. You could see uh, where there's so many of them. I have to get myself a drink of water. <clears throat> right here, we're going to look at these. This is the inverted. Now, this is the inverted original, and this is the edge detect. I'm I just wanted to show you how they look side by side in the different uh, views. Um, yeah. We can zoom up on these a tad bit, and I don't mind. I like to get on here every once in a while. And there's so many ships, when there's so many clustered together, layered upon themselves, um, it's hard to get super, super clear images when you're trying to get them all at the same time but you can look over here and see that these ships are real and they are they're absolutely so real um, let's look at the next picture I just wanna 
boom it takes a while for it to focus and again you can see the notches in them right here and um, you can see you know um, you can see them better in here and I'm not the best at explaining but that's okay I I'm just presenting uh, the pictures for you all to see yourself I am um, these are these are the chariots of the Lord <laughs> I finished it for her so now I made y'all a precept with that so Habakkuk for chapter 3 verse 16 and it reads when I heard my belly trembled my lips quivered at the voice rottenness entered into my bones which is basically fear and I trembled in myself that I may rest in the day of trouble when he had come up onto the people he will invade them with his troops like you see these things are in the skies we are patrolling the earth because this earth belongs to the Lord no one else you worried about Esau and Esau and Esau and the Lord is in charge of what's going on get y'all with the next one made larger ships longer ships uh, and you can see windows in these also and I'd like to just put these side by side so you can see um, the three different views of these ships they are in our, if you were to look up in the sky, and if the veil was to be lifted, um, let me say this, if we were to look up in the sky and the veil was to be lifted, I believe that we would see these ships, and we would see a lot of other things that maybe our hearts could not handle. That's what I feel, but one day the veil is going to be lifted. Right. Uh, there's no doubt about it. It will be lifted, and we will see all that was unseen. Uh, the veil will be lifted. And we are going to see the miraculously entry of the Lord onto this earth. And it's going to be a new earth and a new government. Let me tell you this precept one time. Luke chapter 21 verse 26. And it reads, men hearts failed, filling them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. So, Y'all worried about Esau and all that. Their power structure is going to be shaken and decimated. The Lord got chariots surrounding this place. You think something, you're going to let something happen to you? You're going out there in the highways and byways preaching the word of the Lord? This is to boost your faith, brothers and sisters. I have no fear. Don't worry about who's getting shot and killed. Half of these brothers and sisters, sorry to say, is judgment. Some of these men walk past the prophets and mock them. You know, get a job. What you do with that Power Ranger outfit? You know, it's what it is. I feel for brothers and sisters. I do. But we got to focus on what's written in this record. This is our constitution. See this? You follow this. You follow this and live. That's what's going on. Right? Let me try one more precept right here. Matthew 24 and... Verse 31, and it reads, And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect, his elect from the four winds from one end of the heaven to another. And that, my brothers, is the conclusion of the whole matter. Stay in the spirit, stay focused. Yahweh by Shimeon Shai is coming to rule this earth. Stay in the spirit, stay focused. Don't let nothing deter you. Don't fall for none of these tricks, right? These Cobra Commander tricks that they trying to lure you in to so them revolutionary ass niggas. Yeah, I said it. They'll put you up in some damn camp, right? And have you there again tortured or injected with some nonsense. You stay home. Watch it on TV, right? Because your gift, your blessing is on its way. And the Lord Hamashiach is bringing it. With that, brothers and sisters, like I said, stay in the spirit. Honor thy God with all your spirit and all your might. Love you, brothers and sisters. See you next time, God willing, with part two. All praises. Shalom.